Hey everybody, some gadget guy here, somegadgetguy.com. The quick tip for your text to speech options. Uh, as you may have noticed, starting today, there's a new app to update, Google Text to Speech. I'm gonna go ahead and update this while we're chatting here, just you and me. I'm gonna hit update. Now this is the Google's version of the engine. Um, the piece of software which is responsible for the voice that comes from your phone every single time you do something which requires a voice. Now, not every phone manufacturer will pre-install the Google text-to-speech option. Uh, some will install Pico or their own proprietary voice option. And it, it even took me back uh, a little when the first time I fired up Google Nav, Google Maps on a, a Samsung phone that it wasn't the same voice that I heard from my Nexus. So to, uh, oh, I was in the right menu. To adjust that, uh, when you go to settings, you're probably gonna start on connections. Go to my device, scroll all the way down. And this is on a Samsung. There, it, This menu is gonna be in different places on every single other phone. Um, but all of your phones should have a language and input menu option. So we're gonna hit language and input. We're gonna scroll down text to speech options. And now we can see what speech engines are on our phone. Now to Samsung's credit, it did have Google text to speech pre-installed and it was ready to go. It was a part of the Android operating system, but they installed their own text-to-speech engine and that's, what is, uh, that's what's used by default on a Samsung device. And you might actually like the Samsung version better. Just as an example, here is the Samsung voice. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. And now here is an example of the Google. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. And both of them are pretty robotic. But if you've gotten used to the Google text-to-speech engine, then that sort of sounds more appropriate. I think the Samsung voice, especially when it's giving turn-by-turn -turn directions, it's a little huskier. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Yeah, it's a little bedtime, sleepy voice. And that's cool and all, but I also find that in my car, uh, where I don't have the best soundproofing and I can hear a lot of road noise, this voice, because it's a little deeper, it's a little whisperier, it's a little huskier, can sometimes get lost in uh, uh, the road noise, uh, especially when I'm driving on the freeway. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Whereas the Google Voice, because it's a little brighter and it's a little, it's a little peppier, it seems to cut through other noise a little bit better. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. We just want to ask a question. Why would Google make text-to-speech its own standalone app? And it really does seem like Google is going to be doing a better and better job of getting around feature fragmentation. In the Android ecosystem, even if your phone doesn't get an operating system update, as long as it's within a certain range of devices, you still don't miss out on, on features. It seems like they're going to start peeling off all of these individual services from the main operating system so that people can still get updated phones. I wrote a longer editorial on uh, somegadgetguy.com talking about how while Apple, for instance, they, uh, they do a really good job of updating the operating system, but they don't, older phones and older tablets won't always get newer features. Whereas Google looks like, you know, knowing that your older phone probably won't get an operating system update, you'll still get updates for the Google speech engine whenever they put them out. You'll still get updates for the Google keyboard if you use the, uh, the Nexus keyboard, which is its own standalone app now. And I would expect more and more of those services to go completely standalone. And when you think about it, that's actually the right play. It's kind of silly to think that there's a team of people at Google who update text-to-speech, but their work only gets shown whenever there's a massive operating system update for the whole phone. You know, when you, when you think about how that stuff works, it really shouldn't be that way. And I would hope that maybe manufacturers might take notice. For example, if you like the Samsung text-to-speech engine better, maybe Samsung should put out their own app so that people on HTC and LG phones can use the Samsung uh, text-to-speech service. And maybe that would also help us get away from how long it takes to get updates. Every time there's an update for Android, Samsung has to also recode a whole bunch of stuff for TouchWiz, all of the software that runs on top of uh, their, their Android handsets. And if their software were more individual APKs, they were more individual apps, and maybe even in the App Store. So if you like TouchWiz, but you wanted HTC hardware, you could 
put that experience on your phone. But that would also mean that updates for the operating system would happen much, much faster. And then anytime there was some little update to a Samsung service, say uh, SmartStay is on right now. Well, what if they update the algorithms for SmartStay? Well, you can't get those updated algorithms unless you buy a new handset or unless there's an operating system update that Samsung releases for the whole phone. Short story incredibly long, I'm really excited to see stuff like Google peeling off these individual services because now that means we should have more up-to-date services even if we're not always getting up-to-date operating systems. So folks, that's uh, Google Text-to-Speech. Uh, it should be showing up on your handsets starting today. Uh, I got actually got the update last night. And uh, for those of you who wanna play around, go to your language and input settings and text-to-speech, and you should be able to play around with different voices. And it's, uh, it's kind of fun because you can uh, change the personality of your phone. As always, folks, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all on the next video.